Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I think uh, you've seen this uh, beautiful drone uh, in the in front of the entrance. This is our 216 uh, passenger drone. If you like it, I invite you to uh, go inside and take pictures, um, as many as you want. Uh, I tried this uh, several times uh, in uh, our HQ uh, in Guangzhou in China. This is very uh, stable. Um, and the guests are here uh, try, uh, uh, fly with me. Um, so he can, or I think you can uh, uh, tell about more about our drone. It's very stable. I'm not here to give you uh, advertisement. Uh, I'm just uh, here to introduce um, uh, the drone. So uh, Yihang is a, a NASDAQ listed company. Um, and we are uh, 300 people. Um, but still, at the scale of uh, aircraft company, we are a very small uh, company. Uh, 300 people, half of them are technicians and uh, engineers, because in this sector, uh, you all know, we, uh, we have to do the uh, research and uh, development uh, quite every day, day and night. There's no, uh, no weekend, no holidays. <laughs> That's why... Um, we uh, we uh, we could introduce you uh, the uh, different drone that we uh, we've been developed. Um, so here you can see this uh, AEV uh, passenger drone, and um, this is the passenger grid, and we develop also the uh, um, non-passenger grid drones by using a landing pad, by using uh, the charging system, and by using our uh, control center. So this is the whole uh, system that we uh, developed first uh, in uh, in China, and um, uh, we help the uh, Asian companies and now European companies because our uh, uh, European subsidiary uh, are we have three three of them. One is in France, the other one is in Spain, and the other one is in Austria. So uh, we are uh, three um, we are three uh, subsidiary in uh, Europe. But we are three. Uh, we are a small team uh, in Europe in, in Europe to develop this um, um, smart city uh, system. Um, here you can see we have this uh, Yihang two seats, uh, two sixteen drone. Why uh, two uh, sixteen? Because two means uh, two seats, and sixteen means uh, sixteen propellers. These propellers are made by uh, um, uh, fiber uh, carbon. Uh, you can you can check on it. It's very uh, uh, fragile. It's fragile, but it's very solid at the same time. Um, and we uh, develop. Um, firefighting drones as well. Uh, by using this, it's to, because um, I think people, you, um, we, we all remember what happened in Austria, the disaster uh, recent years. So we developed this for one of our customers uh, for the uh, firefighting. Um, firefighting um, um, it actually, is a customer came to us, asked us to develop this um, to them. Um, and then uh, we uh, recently we developed this uh, VT30. Uh, this is a fixed wind, uh, fixed wind drone, uh, fully autonomous, and the range is about uh, 300 kilometers. Uh, now we uh, we produce our drone uh, with this uh, mass pr production. Uh, this is in uh, our headquarter, and we do this uh, flight testing quite uh, uh, every day. Uh, this uh, flight testing because to show that our customers, our drone is uh, stable. Um, to um, answer all our customers' uh, requirement, so we have to testing them every day. But in Europe, it's not that easy. <laughs> Um, so um, the most important thing for us is the security. So, yeah, I saw the lady from the Yaza is here, so <laughs> I, I really like to talk to you uh, because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So I, I can tell you the uh, a story about our our CEO. Uh, why uh, we why he his uh, his dream is to create this uh, this drone, because he is a very uh, super fan of the uh, aircraft, and he um, his uh, two friends uh, they are actually uh, helicopter instructors, and they all uh, died um, because of the uh, helicopters. So we are in the drone industry, so I, I can say everything about uh, helicopters. So, but this is a true story. So since that time, uh, he decided to build um, um, the, the very safe uh, aircraft in the world. So that's why uh, the Yihang's drone uh, was born, 
because his concern is to build the most safest uh, aircraft in the world. Uh, so um, the uh, safety for us is the most uh, important important thing, uh, because this drone is fully we, we have we equipped with um, fully retentancy system. So uh, this retentancy system is in the propellers, batteries, uh, the whole uh, management system. So if there's malfunction uh, happens, the uh, the whole um, redundancy system will take over and to ensure the safety. Uh, this is what, so we are in this European uh, medical use cases. This uh, what Ihang uh, already done for um, Red Cross. We transport the uh, blood sample with our Falcon drone. This is a small one. The payload is uh, five kilos. So uh, we, we did this in uh, Austria. Um, and this is what we, what we did during the COVID in, uh, in China, in uh, Wuhan. Um, and we, uh, do the, we did this uh, flight uh, testing by uh, transporting the uh, uh, medical devices. And what we did with the uh, Safir Med, so as Ihan have a uh, little experience in this medical uh, uh, use cases, so uh, we are here also to share with uh, uh, this European um, uh, project that uh, what we can uh, share with the uh, Safir Med project. And thank you again uh, to uh, Helikers and uh, to European Commission to give us this opportunity to be a part of this uh, Safir Med project. And we, we will be working a lot with uh, Helikers and with uh, Yaza as well uh, for this, uh, and with the French DGC, uh, as I'm the um, director of uh, DGC, uh, as a um, director of uh, subsidiary in France, so we work a lot with the DGC um, to uh, get this uh, permission uh, to fly uh, here in Belgium. And we, uh, of course, we uh, work with uh, Helikers uh, for this uh, integration uh, with the Helikers C2C, and we set up the uh, flight road together. Um, and uh, the idea is to fly here in the port of uh, uh, Antwerp. Um, this is a map that we've already seen several times. Uh, Ihang is uh, on the top, so uh, our objective is to transport the passenger uh, between uh, hospitals. Well, it will be patients or doctors uh, between the hospitals by using uh, Ihang's 216 drones. Um, here is the uh, uh, flight road that we've been thinking uh, with the heli uh, with um, helicopters. Uh, this is a uh, EVLOS operating in the urban area uh, in the Antwerp port by using uh, by um, flying uh, over this um, river. So uh, to conclude, um, uh, I will want to thank again to uh, European uh, Commission uh, to let Ihan to be part of this project. And um, um, and we believe uh, every um, industry business deserves their own drones. That's why uh, we diversified so um, so much. We uh, created this passenger drone, cargo drone, um, big one, small one, and firefighting drones. Because for this is all our customer. They came to us, ask ask us to uh, produce this drone for for their needs, for their uh, precise needs. Um, and again, uh, this uh, security uh, is most important concern for us. So um, I just want to tell the local authority that um, security is, uh, is what we are working uh, day and night. And um, um, our uh, engineer and our technicians um, uh, well, uh, uh, I remember a guy said it's very difficult actually uh, fly from point A to point B. Actually, I um, agree with uh, with you, but uh, uh, in Europe it's very, very difficult. But uh, I know because we are so um, concerned about this uh, security. But uh, in, in Asia and uh, in, in, in China, um, we, we already, we've already done uh, 10,000 flights uh, flight testing. Thank you so much. Thank you.